We're talking about preventing child abuse. There are resources you may not know about. Denver Human Services has a hotline that's open 24 hours a day that can help. Tori Mason live at Denver Human Services this morning. And that hotline's proven to be very successful. Tori, tell us about it. Extremely successful, Alan. Last year, DHS took a record number of calls from people calling in to report that abuse. Now, just because that many calls have been coming in, it doesn't necessarily mean that more abuse is happening. It means that more people are feeling empowered to take initiative and make those calls. Now, even if the situation isn't severe enough to result in an investigation, DHS has an awesome prevention program for families who still feel like they need some support. Now, here with me today is Stephen DiGiacomo. He's the Child Abuse Prevention um, Hotline Coordinator. And Stephen, the numbers are up, but people still might feel a little hesitant to make those calls. Explain how that process goes. Yeah, so when somebody calls us, uh, a trained professional will answer that call, and you know you'll get you'll get a nice response from that person on the other end of the line. They're going to ask you details about what you're concerned about, um, details about where the family lives, and also we're also going to ask about strengths. Uh, what strengths do you see in the family that the department might be able to build on? Right, and so I can only imagine how tough this job is. What is it that keeps you and everyone really in this building coming back every day? Yeah, absolutely. You know, so my, you know, personally, you know, myself and my colleagues here, we are dedicated to improving the lives of, of families in the city and county of Denver. We really want to have a positive impact on our community, and that really keeps us coming in every day and doing the work that we do. Thank you so much for all this so such important work that you guys do here at DHS. Now, again, they can only help you if you make that call. They want you at home to feel empowered to call. It's such an easy, the number is right there, right at the bottom of your screen, right behind me. Make that report. It could honestly save a child's life. Alan. Very true. Tori, thank you very much.